Welcome back to another Rat Face 44 Reviews. My name is James, and today we have G.I. Joe Classified Series, Techno Viper. So let's get this started! So before we get this started, big shout out to DJC Collectibles. Best place to get G.I. Joe Classified Series. Link will be in the description below. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. Gotta love the plastic window packaging. You got the Cobra logo, the G.I. Joe logo, Cobra Techno Viper. You got the Hasbro logo and the artwork is pretty cool. I love how clean it is. It looks really great with the green background. And here is the figure with all the included accessories. And on the back of the packaging, you see the Techno Viper. He looks like he is in Japan or even Hong Kong. I, th I think he's in the same area as where Nunchuck is. We got some zoom in aspects of some details of the figure. You have his backpack. We have the digital display. We got the battle stats, boring stuff on the bottom. And on this side of the packaging, you have the same type of artwork in a larger format. Number 117 in the line. And on this side of the packaging, you got 117. You got a QR code and some battle stats. All right, guys, I got my trusty scalpel here. Let's go ahead and open them up. Later on in this video, I'll have a vintage comparison. So stay tuned for that. That should be really cool. Quick shot of Techno Viper in the plastic. And anyway, we have a really cool Cobra logo in the background of this package. It is removable and it's good for figure photography. So let's get the figure and all the accessories out of the plastic. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories. First off, let's grab his little laser pistol here. There's a port for blast effects. And this laser blaster is exactly the same as the bats. Next, we have this kind of 3D digital display type thing that goes on his wrist. Looks really cool. Has a bunch of uh, nice molded detail here. And here we have this welding type of clamp type tool. We have three of them. Here's a another one here. These are very rep reminiscent of the vintage versions. I'll have a picture up of what it looks like right here. Next we have this kind of hammer looking tool. Very cool detail on here, all technical kind of molding. These are very, very rubbery, unfortunately. And we have the silver hose with some black ports on the end. And next we have his laser blaster, which is freaking awesome. I'll have a vintage comparison right beside this gun so we can take a look at the difference. There's some really spectacular molding detail on this uh, laser blaster. There is a port for blast effects. There is a sight and the silver hose ports in just like that. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at Techno Viper. Let's get a close up shot of the head sculpt. What I was worried about was the paint application on the eyes. They look pretty good to me. So after I was messing around with this for just a moment, uh, I noticed that the swivel at the waist is very loose. The ab crunch is just fine. Not wiggly at all. It's just loose in the swivel, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and take a look at the style and design of Techno Viper here. As you can see that the silver Cobra symbol looks on point. It's printed perfectly. The silver on the tubes all over the body look really good. That one that goes all the way to the back from the front. Eyes, like I was saying, they look pretty good. Silver paint looks really great. The purple plastic. And I kind of have like a two-tone purple on his mask. Looks really awesome with the ridges. So it looks like a, that episode of the Twilight Zone where the alien's on the plane, on the wing, and destroying it. Th this is what his face looks like <laughs> to me. But uh, 
It looks freaking creepy and scary, which is, that's what it's all about. <laughs> so as you can see on the shoulders, he has the shoulder pads done in black. Nice, cool kind of technical detail on the shoulders here. Looks really awesome. Like I was saying about the silver tubes, they match with the accessory. That's really cool and uh, matches very nicely. On his arms here, you can see he has the digital display where that 3D projected digital thing pops out of his wrist. We could try that out. That fits in perfectly. We'll have them all geared up later on after we finish reviewing the figure here. We have a floating belt and holster. I'm pretty sure that's from the bat. Um, I'll take out a bat later on in this video. We'll do some comparisons. We got black knee pads. Got some nice pockets molded in on the legs, wrinkled details. I believe these are brand new boots. We haven't seen these before, which is really cool. And uh, regular type of shoe type boot type things. Looks really cool. I like the silver tubes on the wrist. We got trigger fingers on both hands. You got digital readout, readouts on both his arms, which is really cool. And the purple is kind of like two-tone, which is really awesome. I really like that attention to detail. Very cool. So that's the figure. Let's go ahead and gear him up. So let's start off by putting the sidearm in his hand just to see how it fits. Fits in perfectly. And we can holster the laser pistol. Fits in nicely. And we have the utility backpack. That's what I'm gonna call it. That these basically just hold all the tools in the slots, just like that. And they're very tight fitting, which is good so they don't fall out. Check that out. And one thing I was curious about is this tube. And the other part of the tube could fit into the lasers like that and you can interchange them with the tools and let's put the backpack on the figure see how that fits very tight fit i might add and it looks like there's two ports right here where these whole where these uh canisters are so i guess you know if one runs out you could switch it over to the other one <laughs> and let's see how his laser gun fits in his hand. And his arm is basically stuck. Yeah, his elbow is completely fused, unfortunately. And this digital readout thing it is loose, so it can be removed from the arm. And I showed it before, we could put this 3D digital readout on both his arms and this elbow is very stiff also and here's a techno viper with the tool connected to the hose to the backpack so there you have it guys he is all geared up so it wouldn't be a gi joe classified series figure review without doing some comparisons so what i was thinking about the holsters for the techno viper was the same as the bat looks like maybe a remold it's very very comparable i think they use the same kind of holster but the belt buckle is different maybe the, it's the same but this one is not painted yeah i think it's pretty much the same the holster does look the pouch on the side looks bigger on the bat than on the techno viper but it looks pretty much almost the same but here is the Techno Viper with the bat and the Televiper, Techno Viper, Televiper. And we got a regular standard Cobra Infantry Trooper. They look really awesome together. Very classic looking. So let's go ahead and do a vintage comparison. So here is my vintage Techno Viper. One of my favorite army builders of Cobra. Um, I recently picked this one up from the from a uh, toy show I went to last weekend. So you can imagine I was pretty excited to get the uh, classified version of the Techno Viper. So far it hasn't really disappointed except for the, the, the loose swivel, unfortunately. But as you could see, like they are definitely inspired by the vintage. Like I keep on saying, 
when I do these vintage comparisons. <laughs> and of course the, the color is definitely lighter on the vintage one as opposed to the classified one. But they still have the kind of uh, two-tone purple on it, which is really cool. A lot more detail, of course, on the classified. And unfortunately, I don't have any accessories out of my five Techno Vipers. But that's it. There's the comparison. So final thoughts. Like I was saying, I am excited to get more Techno Vipers, and I'm glad they made this in the classified line. That's why I bought two. So it's one of my favorite army builders, like I said. I love the details, the extra details that they put in the classified version. Nice to get accessories. One day maybe I'll get some accessories for the vintage Techno Viper. So what are you guys doing? Are you guys going to army build the Techno Viper? It would be really cool to get maybe five or six of these. That would be freaking on point. So that's it guys. There is my review of the Techno Viper. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you could share my video with your friends, that would be awesome. Really appreciate all my subscribers. Thanks for watching. Yojo and Cobra!